Speaking of the snow, today into tomorrow, check this out. Philadelphia National Weather Service thinks you could see around one to two inches of snow. New York City, totals have actually gone up a little bit, six to nine inches in there. Same with Long Island six to nine inches on the high end new york city or somewhere on long island could see over 10 inches of snow maybe even a foot if you get lucky with some banning here the hudson valley looks great upstate new york looks great syracuse down to binghamton albany lots of snow here most of connecticut looks pretty good with snow rhode island decent two to three inches out there western massachusetts three to five inches. Boston, this is the low end, but if you get high end snow here, you could see more than this. You can see on the high end, Boston, three to four inches as possible. And look at the high end here. We're talking widespread eight to 10 inches throughout this area. So this is pretty good. High end Philadelphia, maybe you do end up with three to five inches. Again, I think we're going to be battling with freezing rain here though. We can take a look at our ice forecast here and where you don't want to be is this red. This red is when we get into that catastrophic ice storm area. And I don't want to use scary words like that, but you get over a half inch of ice. That's when you get some power lines coming down, trees coming Coming down. It's not a good situation. And if there are any issues, it's really difficult for authorities to get around and help people out because the roads are just undrivable. So if you're out here, central to Western PA, you should have some extra gas if your house runs on gas to keep it warm, just in case the power goes out. If you live in an area that doesn't have a great power grid, it is very, very possible that the power goes out with a half inch of ice. And by the way, if you're in the Midwest, our Sunday into Monday storm, you can see these are the high ends. I actually don't think these should be the high ends. I think these should be the expected totals we've seen as our models have adjusted. They've really started to deepen this low, tilt our trough. So I think these should actually be the expected totals, but Minneapolis, five to six inches. You could see a little bit more than that, I think. Central to Northern Wisconsin, good snow five to nine inches here. Maybe you get some decent snow down into Milwaukee as well if that low pressure drops a little bit farther south, but looks pretty decent here in Green Bay, obviously central to northern Iowa. Most of Nebraska see snow. You probably want to be in northeastern Nebraska to see the best snow from this. And then of course, Denver, Colorado. Out there in eastern Colorado, you could get some good snow as well. And we all know what's been happening out west. Look at this over the next 72 hours. Good snow for the Rockies.